this is a University of Oxford Earth Sciences Department tutorial on how to set up the Leica DM750P Teaching Polarising Microscope. In this tutorial we will cover the component parts of the microscope, how to collect and set up the microscope, setting a comfortable working position, using the microscope and finally packing away. The parts of the microscope are as follows, eyepieces and focus adjustment dials, binocular viewing tube, head, revolving nose piece, objectives, carry handle, rotating stage, quarter wave mica plate, sprung loaded stage clips, substage condenser, aperture diaphragm, condenser height focus knob, rotatable polarizer, condenser centering screws, lamp and intensity dial, field iris diaphragm control, coarse focus adjustment, fine focus adjustment, mains cable socket and cable tidy, and main switch. Additionally, between the binocular viewing tube and objectives is the Bertrand lens, analyzer, and wave plate. At the back of the microscope stand is the orange instrument carry -on. This must be used in conjunction with the finger slot at the base of the front of the microscope when moving the microscope. Always use two hands when transporting or moving the microscope onto the desk for use. Unwind the mains cable socket and plug in the instrument cable tidy. Ensure that the connection is secured at both ends. Having got your microscope out of the cupboard and positioned it on the bench, now is the opportune time to set the chair to the correct position, ensuring that you are comfortable with no strain on your neck or back. Adjust the chair accordingly. On the right hand side of the base is the main switch. Zero is off, one is on and will be illuminated. On the left hand side of the base is the lamp intensity dial. It's good practice to leave the dial rotated to the lowest light intensity. This will ensure that the user's eyes are protected before viewing. The light intensity can be seen at the top of the base. Under the substage condenser is the swing in out rotatable polarizer. This is marked with 0, 90, 180 and 270 degrees. Ensure that this is in the 0 degree position at the start of use. There is a silver locking screw to the right hand side. Also on the right hand side, directly under the stage, is a slot which accepts a quarter wave mica plate. Ensure that this is in the out position. Use the rotating nose piece to adjust the microscope to the 4x position. Don't handle the objectives themselves as this could damage the microscope. Use the condenser height focus knob to adjust the condenser until it's flush with the stage. Next, you need to adjust the interpupillary distance. If you look through the eyepieces and see two images, the interpupillary distance is not correct. To correct it, slide the eyepieces closer together or farther apart until the two fields merge to form a single circle of light. The interpupillary distance is now correct for you. Move the field iris diaphragm control across to the far right position. Use the coarse focus adjustment to adjust the stage height as high as possible. Adjust the condenser height focus knob until the aperture diaphragm blades are sharp and in focus. Next, use the condenser centering screws to adjust the image until it's centered using the crosshairs in the right eyepiece. Move the field iris diaphragm control fully over to the left. The substage condenser is now properly set up for use. Place a section on the stage and fix in place using the stage clips. Use the coarse and fine focus knobs to focus the image as much as practicable, working up to at least 40x magnification. Only the fine adjustment should be required once you have established focus at lower magnifications. To attain a sharp image based on your eyesight, rotate each eyepiece diopter to zero and adjust each eye individually until the image is most in focus. Then move on to the next eye. The right hand side eyepiece contains a graduated cross line graticule which needs to be sharply focused to the user's right eye. Ensure that the graduated axis is in the east-west position. 
The circular rotating stage is marked in one degree increments and has two verniers allowing one tenth degree measurements. To the right hand vernier block is a rotary clamp screw to fix the stage in position. The condenser contains the aperture diaphragm which is operated by the peripheral collar. Suggested positions for this, in relation to the objective used, are shown on the diaphragm. Between the binocular viewing tube and objectives is the analyzer and Bertrand lens units. Both are operated by lateral switches. O indicates out and A or BL for the in positions. For initial setting up, ensure that both are in the out position. Also for setting up, check that the wave plate is in the out position. When packing away, turn off the plug socket and stow the mains cable and socket in the cable tidy at the rear of the microscope. Set the main switch to zero and adjust the lamp intensity dial to the lowest position. Check that the objectives are set to 4x magnification and that the analyzer, Bertrand lens, wave plate and quarter wave plate are set to the respective out positions. Finally, stow the microscope in its originating cupboard.